I forgot to ask before, but why is it that you and your friends are here in Chile looking at the stars and not somewhere else? Is it a good spot for looking at the stars? Ah, good question. Yes, where you put telescopes is quite important. To make sure you can get the best pictures of the night sky, you need to put the telescopes in places with the best conditions. So what makes it a good place for telescopes? Well, I'll show you. Um, Ted, I can't see any stars. Yeah, it's too cloudy here. Exactly, it is too cloudy. We can't see the stars if it's too cloudy, so we've got to pick a place where the sky is nice and clear. Okay, that makes sense. Obviously here is no good either, at least for us telescopes. Fun for bears to splash around in though. Lots of fun, but still no good for taking star pictures though. Oh, it's very windy here. Careful little bear. Yes, it is very windy, which isn't so good for you bears, but also isn't good for telescopes. We end up wobbling about a lot, so we can't take any good pictures. And if it's too windy, we might get hurt. Oh no! Definitely no good for telescopes. Also, can you see the stars twinkling? The wind makes them look like they're twinkling. That's because the air is moving around a lot, so it makes the star look like it's wobbling around. This isn't great for taking pictures with, because it makes the stars look blurry. Huh, I never thought about that. I didn't know that's why the stars look twinkly. Oh, it's a city. Are cities not good places for seeing the night sky? Well, have a look at the sky and see what you think. Oh, I can't see many stars. Exactly. The city with all its lights makes it hard to see lots of stars. The lights are bright, making the sky lighter, so you can't see the stars so well. This makes it a bad place for taking pictures of stars. So this is why we live in places like this, away from cities and in places with dry weather and not much wind. Yeah, I can see the stars much better here. So many stars. <laughs>